Hello everyone. This is my 2023 KTM EXC 250 TPI. I've just done 15 hours on the bike and I would like to take this opportunity to do a first impressions video of the bike so far. So first of all, let's just get into what I've done to the bike. Not many upgrades. I have done a Cherbis engine cover. And radiator fan, because it didn't come with one, so I put one on there. And fork sleeves, so a Cherbis fork sleeves, a Cherbis engine cover, and a radiator fan. Since we're talking about the radiator fan, um, this bike doesn't really overheat too much. Maybe because I don't push it as much as it likes to be pushed. But only when I'm trying to learn how to wheelie does the bike want to turn the fan on. And um, on the trails so far, the bike really does not overheat, in my opinion. Uh, when I had the Husqvarna FE 350, that bike ten tended um, to overheat more than this one. Okay, let's get into my first point, which would be reliability. In the 15 hours of ownership, how reliable has the KTM EXC 250 served me? And it's been spot on. I've had zero issues with the bike so far in terms of components failing. I haven't, fa I haven't uh, fouled a spark plug since owning this bike which seems to be a very common issue on the EXC 250s and 300s if you go on the forums on Facebook and Reddit like I did before riding this bike you'd find so many people saying oh I fouled the spark plug in in the first five hours or in the first two hours or I've fouled 10 spark plugs in 10 hours so um, not, not in my case. So reliability. So far, so good. Not a single issue at all. The only issue I've had with this bike, and it seems to be a very common issue actually, is um, bogging. It bogs in first and second quite a lot sometimes, but once it's heated up, I think, it... Um, it goes away but then it comes back so I don't I don't know what to do with these kind of issues when they um, it's, it's, a, it's a bit of a problem I've looked online and it seems to be the C, CPS sensor and you swap that around with there's like two sensors on this bike I believe if you swap them around it seems to go away for a few hours or if you buy brand new ones swap them out well the thing is right these two sensors on this bike they're, they're exactly the same. So if the CCP sensor is, has an issue, then your other sensor might be working fine. And if you swap it, then it sol solves the issue. But you can also buy um, a new sensor, which is like a hundred pounds. And hopefully it solves the issue, but um, I'm not willing to spend a hundred pounds right now. Because a bike rides, rides fine. Um, it's just I've gotten used to it, so I've learned to just deal with it and ride the bike. Um, so yeah, reliability. Honestly, if you just don't take into consideration a bit of vlogging in first and second, then the bike just rides perfect. No issues whatsoever. The bike just turns on, ready to go. You warm it up, fill it up with two stroke oil fill up some petrol and off you go warm up the bike and you're good so that's point number one reliability very reliable in the 15 hours that i've owned it um i haven't had to do anything else to the bike so far this is all stock so the tires front tire rear tire is oem max's tires the rear tire is showing a bit of wear. I'll probably change that 
next season when I come back to Kosovo. Um, yeah, just the usual maintenance really. Take out the filter, wash it, clean it, dry it, spray it, put it back in. Oil your chain. Your main, your normal checks before you ride, bolts and stuff. And this bike has been a blast to ride. So that brings me to point number two. That would be handling. How does this bike handle? It handles superb. It's a very fun bike to ride. Out in the trails, in the tight trails, single track. Uh, anything you throw at this bike, it makes you feel that you can take on any challenge. And this is what I like about this bike so much. Um, confidence inspiring, lovely bike, easy to ride, very fast, once you pin it, it likes to be revved high, it screams, it's definitely a screamer, the 250, very very fun to ride, it has a horn as well, so I was surprised I'm and I saw the horn on there, so I never get to use it, but um, <laughs> yeah, you get a horn as well. So point number one, reliability. Very reliable. I've had no issues whatsoever. Point number two, handling. Great handling. Very fun to ride. Point number three, I think I've mentioned earlier, speed. Speed is up there. Very fast, very fast and light, which is what you want on the trails. It's very fun. What have I, for point number three, what I have to say for point number three, have I had anything that I would point out to um, the viewers or if you guys want to buy one? Well, I've had nothing go wrong with it. What can I say about this bike? I've had me, my, uh, me, my clutch lever bend, but that's my issue. It's a rider's issue, not really um, a bike issue. Um, yeah, I mean, this is a fantastic bike, really. It honestly is. What can I say? These two, these two strokes, these new refined, they're so refined. These new two strokes are so refined, honestly, you can't even feel, it doesn't even feel like you're riding a two stroke. They're so refined, feel that it's so linear, the power delivery is so linear on these two strokes nowadays. There's really nothing to complain about. Um, it's fuel injected, so I don't have to play around with a carburetor, which is not really a big issue, but It's nice to have a fuel injected two stroke. You just put petrol in, oil in, you don't mix it, it mixes itself, and you're off you go. More riding time for me, which is a big selling point for these two strokes. In my opinion, there's a lot of people out there that don't want to fiddle with a carburetor, don't want to fiddle with anything, don't want to mix petrol and oil, and you just want to get on the bike and off you go. And in my case, this is a big plus. Not fiddling around with a carburetor for me is a big plus. And if you watch my videos that I've posted, I've posted about four or five of these videos so far on, the, on this bike, you will see that I am generally going faster on this bike than I did on the Husqvarna FE 350, on the four stroke. Um, I just feel more confident on this bike. I feel more confident. I ride more confidently. And sometimes you don't even know how fast you're going until you look down on the speedometer and you're like, wow, I'm doing 50, 60 kilometers on, on this tight trail. Bonkers. The KTM EXC 250 TPI has been a blast to own. And I would love to keep this 
for a very long time. If I keep up the maintenance and I look after it like it should be looked after, I see no reason why this bike should have any technical issues or major faults where you know you're not happy with the bike like I was with <clears throat> some other pit bikes that I had on the channel. They kept breaking down every 20 minutes. So if I conclude my first impressions video of the KTM EXC 250 TPI model, it is very fun to ride, easy handling bike, confidence inspiring, and you should get one. I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.